Hi, this is an introduction to the uh, 2010 update. Go into uh, financing, say FHA, because here's where one of the changes is. So let's say the sales price is 250000 Press Enter. I've brought the access program back. So if you have one of those um, programs that has the second, you can do that here. And of course, we've got the 2.25 on the MIP. That's an important change. Go here to the buyer's cost. Put in the one point origination. You can itemize your closing costs, your loan fees, or you can put it in as a lump sum. I usually use 1400 Instead of the word prepaids, we change the word to prorations, as opposed to um, the um, in, you know the interest prepaids on some of the loans. So people didn't get confused. We made this prorations. So you have your days of interest, mortgage impounds, mortgage insurance impounds, taxes, insurance. So all of the information here is the same. We changed the name from prepaids to prorations. Title charges. Let me know if the charges here have gone up significantly and I can make those changes for you. I didn't want to uh, make them too high so that you got in trouble, but if um, they've gone up significantly, let me know. I like to use 125 for the sub escrow. added these fees, condo certification and review appraisal. And those would both be numbers that you would put in yourself. Pest inspection. Now these are the fees that are typically paid by the seller but need to be disclosed. So we have pest inspection, transfer tax, that would be the city transfer tax. So let's say we've got 250 for pest inspection and transfer tax, let's see, the city of Los Angeles would be $4.50. The city of Pomona is $2.20. The city of Riverside is $1.10, additional to that tax stamps. So the city transfer tax, let's say we're in the city of Los Angeles, we're going to put in 4.5. If you don't disclose this, you may be responsible for this amount. Not so much on the realtor side, but on the lender side. We have the title insurance policy and the tax stamps. These tax stamps are paid by everybody, all the sellers, and that's statewide. Okay, whether the seller is going to pay these costs. So we have to show them to the buyer and then we determine who's going to pay them. If the seller is not going to pay them, then the buyer is responsible for them and they're included in this 12,464 number. If the seller is going to pay them, we're just disclosing to the buyer, then we're going to put a check mark in there and that amount will be deducted. So the total is 12,464 minus the 2688, bringing the real net cost to the buyer down to 97.76.27 plus the down payment of 87.50 gives a total costs and the buyer's cash to close. If the buyer has to pay that, you do not check this part here and you see that the costs went up to 21.21.477. Twenty-one two fourteen is kind of the better way of saying that. Okay, so usually this is going to be checked. We're just disclosing this to the buyer and then taking it out. So it's included here, taken out here, and these are the true closing costs. Plus your down payment gives you your total costs and your cash to close. Go here to print can print it in English or in Spanish. Now remember, because of the additional costs, the page is getting longer. 
So it makes it more and more difficult to make it all fit on one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So I would recommend saving it as a PDF and then shrinking it. So here's your 250 plus your down payment. I mean, minus your down payment gives you your loan plus the MIP. Oh, another thing we changed was estimated payment per month. You know, people are, are kind of touchy on whether or not this is the actual payment. What if something were to change? So we're using words like estimated. It's your origination, discount, and then we itemize those fees typically paid by the seller. So we've got a prorations, we've got the closing costs, the amount typically paid by seller bringing those net costs down to 97.76 plus a down payment gives us a 18,526 cash to close. And again, remember, we've got the uh, signature lines and the results are estimates and are not guaranteed. So this can be something that can be handed out. I'm going to save it, go to File, Save as PDF. Choose a place that you want to save it. Um, you can make a folder on your desktop. You can save it um, in your documents. That's up to you. And then you can email it or save it for uh, later reference. Any questions, don't hesitate to call me. You see my information is here. Phone numbers, fax, email address, web address. I can be found on Facebook and on Twitter on, and LinkedIn. So anything that you want, anything you want changed, don't hesitate to let me know. I would be happy to do that for you. Have a great year.